Hello guys, I hope you have done the traffic light project, in the previous video. Today, I'm going to introduce factory talk software. This software can design some screens like this, which can help us to monitor and control an industrial process. In this video, I'll design this simple screen, to monitor and control the traffic light project. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's have a short review of the previous video. This the traffic light program, which has been explained in the previous video. As you know, we can use Arslogix Emulate 5000 to create a virtual PLC station, and test its program. If you remember, two traffic lights start their work, if I use the first digital input. The first three outputs are used for traffic light A, and the next three outputs are used for traffic light B. For each light, I have used a limit instruction, to check, is the current time of a timer, within a specified interval time. Also, I can use the second digital input to turn off traffic lights. This way of simulation is applicable for small projects. In this video, I want to design an HMI screen, like this. Today's, HMI screens are used widely to monitor and control industrial processes. They connect to PLCs, and use their tags. So, let me create a new routine with this name, HMI routine. Because I want to have my HMI tags, on a separate page. Here, I want to create some new tags, these tags will be used by the HMI screen. As you know, the first digital output was used for the green light of street A. I store its state in a bit of PLC memory with this name. HMI bool. Now, I must specify the properties of HMI bool memory. As you see, its data type is boolean, but I need 6 boolean memory with this name. So, I write 6 inside 2 square brackets, to create an array. Pay attention, here if the inserted number is less than 32, I will have 32 boolean addresses, with the selected name. If the inserted number is greater than 32 and less than 64, I will have 64 boolean addresses. Here, I can determine where the new addresses must be created. Under the main program, or under the controller name. As you see, here I can see tags, which have been defined in the previous video. If I double click on controller tags, I can see tags or names, which have been used for my inputs outputs, and also the new array which have 32 boolean address. Now, I want to use the first address. Well, this address will show the state of the green light of street A, and will be used by the HMI screen. I can determine a description for this address, like the previous video, also, I can press Ctrl plus D, and write an appropriate description for the selected address. Similarly, let's store the status of the yellow and red lights of the traffic light A, in the next addresses of the created array, HMI bool.
Well, the HMI screen will detect and indicate the status of traffic light A using these addresses. Similarly, let's use these addresses for traffic light B. Now, I must call this program under HMI underscore routine name, from the main routine. So, I need to use jump to subroutine instruction. I explained this instruction when using ArsLogix 500 software. Here, I must write the desired subroutine name, or select it from this menu. Let me clear the next parameters. So, at this rung, the processor will execute the HMI underscore routine, to store traffic light status on the defined memory. It's expected you can test this program, like previous videos, now, let me open factory talk view. Let's create a new project. All right, under the project name, let's go to the main screen. Here, I can design my HMI screen. I can insert many objects, like a rectangle which can be considered as a street of the traffic lights project. As you can see, if I insert an object into the HMI screen, I can double click on it and change its properties. Well, let me insert another white rectangle. As we mentioned earlier, an HMI screen uses PLC tags. So, let's create a connection with the virtual PLC station. In this window, here, click on Add, and select a name for the new connection. On the right side, you can see the Arslink software and its available connections. Let me select my virtual controller. Now, I click here, to apply necessary settings. Alright. Let's continue designing the HMI screen. First, I insert two texts. Street A, and Street B. Now, I want to insert an image. A traffic light image. Here, we can see some pre-selected images. Or select an image from our computer, or also, select an image from the software library. Now, let me select a green light, and insert into the HMI screen. Now, let's have another green light, but I need to change its image to a green light which is off. Well, let's change the size of two inserted green lights.
Now pay attention to animation menu. Here, based on the inserted object, some features can be selected. For the inserted green light images, their visibility can be dependent on a PLC address. Click on tags, now, click here to refresh all connections. Now, under the created connection, find the desired tag. As you can see, I access all defined tags, inside my PLC program. I select HMI underscore bool 0. If you remember, this tag stores the state of the green light, in the PLC program. Therefore, if this tag is true, it means that the selected image is visible when the green light of street A is on. Otherwise, the selected image will be invisible. On the other side, I want this image to be displayed, when the green light of street A is off. So, I select the previous tag of my PLC program, but activate the invisibility. Now, let me simulate this screen. Note that, I've used two green light images inside the screen, which are connected to a tag of my PLC program. Now, let me activate the traffic light program. As you can see, when the green light of street A is on, this image appears too, and if the green light is off, another image will appear to indicate the green light is off. Alright, let's back to the main screen. Now, I can place this image on another image. These two images will be used to show the green light of street A. Similarly, I can insert other lights on my screen. For example, see, how I design the red light of street B. Here, I select a tag which shows the state of the red light B. Now, from the view menu, I select show grid, and also, activate snap on. These abilities help me to place an image on another exactly. Let's test the design screen. Now, let's activate the PLC program using the first digital input. As you can see, I can use the designed HMI screen to monitor the traffic light project. Now, let me show you how we can control the traffic light project from the HMI screen. First I insert a momentary push button. This object has three states. Let me change selected colors for each state.
In the Connections tab, I connect the selected object, to a new tag of my PLC memory. I will use this tag to modify my PLC program. Similarly, let me have another momentary push button, and connect it to another tag. Here, in the Captions section, I write Stop. Because, the selected momentary push button will be used to stop the traffic lights program. So, I will this tag in the PLC program, to reset the timer. Similarly, the first momentary push button, will change its tag which I will use that to start the timer. Now, let's modify the PLC program. If you remember, this digital input is used to start the timer. Similarly, let's have another normally open contact to start the timer. For this contact, I select this tag, which has been used for the first inserted momentary push button, in the HMI screen. Let's change its description to start to. Similarly, like this digital input address, let's use the selected tag for the second inserted momentary push button, to reset the timer. Now, let's test the modified program with the new HMI screen. I can start the traffic light project, from the HMI screen. Note that, this traffic light screen, was a simple screen to learn how an HMI screen can be designed to monitor and control a project. We can use other objects like this, which show the traffic light timer based on milliseconds. Alright, based on this simulation, if you don't have any real controller, you can use ArsLogix Emulate 5000 software to create a virtual PLC station and test your program. Beside that, you can design HMI screen using Factory Talk software, which can help you to test, monitor, and control your project. In the next video, I'll continue learning ArsLogix 5000 software, which is the main software to program my PLC. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.